Tens of thousands of people marched in several U.S. cities yesterday in the second March for Our Lives rally. They are fed up with mass shootings in the wake of both Uvalde and Buffalo. As the CBC's Chris Reyes explains, they want politicians to work together and get something done. Ho, ho! In New York City, they marched across the Brooklyn Bridge, joining thousands across the country, including in Atlanta, San Antonio, and in Parkland, where a school shooting happened in 2018 at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. 17 people were killed. The student survivors of that shooting are leading today's march under the organization they formed after that tragic day, March for Our Lives. One of the leaders of the movement was in Washington, D.C., once again calling for change. Nowhere, nowhere in the Constitution is unrestricted access to weapons of war a guaranteed right. I'm in the thick of an energized crowd crossing the Brooklyn Bridge into Manhattan. They are desperate for change. They are angry about the shootings that are happening in this country that's making them feel unsafe anywhere, especially in schools. And they want change now, meaningful change to gun laws in this country. The most precious thing we have in our country is our children. And not only are they being killed, but those who survive are being psychologically damaged. Also in the crowd, former New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio. Will this march matter? The first thing is that you never give up on a cause like this. We will save lives because people are marching. The march is part of a nationwide campaign to overhaul gun laws in the U.S. Many in the crowd want assault rifles banned, universal background checks, and red flag laws that would give authorities power to confiscate guns in some cases. The message is definitely the kids are watching. There are 12-year-olds right now who are growing up with anxiety that they can't even go to a place where they're mandated to be and be safe. A set of bills that would overhaul gun laws in the country passed in the U.S. House of Representatives earlier this week. The gun reform package faces an uphill battle in the Senate despite a Democratic majority. Chris Reyes, CBC News, New York.